You never know the value of a moment until it's gone. That's why a few months ago we decided to take a trip out west. We wanted to see where the Colorado road would take us. And to prove that you don't need a lot of money to have an adventure. This road trip ended up being one of the funnest road trips of our lives. So this actually started a few months prior to the trip, when we made it the mission to see the most epic places in Colorado. We went in with a rough plan and just decided that we would just go with the flow. Before we even headed out west, my brother Carson and Carter drove up to Ohio to meet up with their family, where Uncle Kirk and our cousin Zach and Cole would join us. So we're about to call our uncle and let our family know we're gonna be there in two hours. That's Grandpa! Hey, how are you, buddy? Uh, I know who you are. Great. After catching up with the family and getting a nice dinner, we headed off that night to go see the beautiful state of Colorado. So we are in Missouri now, about to head to Kansas City and then head off to Colorado. With a 20 hour drive ahead of us, it was a lot of jamming out to music, chilling around, and the occasional bathroom break. With all the distractions, we still had a mission. A mission to get to Colorado. We made it to Colorado super late into the night. And just a few hours later, we wanted to catch the sunrise at our first stop the Garden of the Gods. So I'm about to head up this hill to get the time lapse set up. Made it to the top of this hill. The view is so amazing. You can actually overlook the Garden of the Gods. It's really cloudy, so it's not getting any sunrise. Our uncle is down there in the parking lot, and we're FaceTiming him. What's up, man? You vlogging hey. right now, too? I am vlogging. <laughs> He's down there. What's up, Zach? We're up here. We were so excited to finally be in Colorado. But with only being there for seven days, we had a lot of ground to cover. So right after the Garden of the Gods, we headed down south towards the Great Sand Dunes. Super pumped right now because finally, after what? Two days? Of, how long have we been on this trip so far? I'd be forever. Forever. It feels like forever, especially Kansas. <laughs> it was like forever of flatness. But we finally have came upon some mountains. So we're gonna go to Great Sand Dunes and camp. <laughs> now we're gonna head up here and uh, camp up on this mountain. Just like that, our plans changed. We decided to hike up this unknown mountain. We had no idea how high it was or where it led to, but we all just knew we had to hike it. As soon as we started our ascent, we quickly ran into some troubles. So this is the part of the journey where we get stuck in the rain. <laughs> it's all about the journey, not the destination. <laughs> as soon as the rain subsided, we continued our journey up the mountain but the hike just kept going on and on. You're not dying, you're dead. And it quickly became dark. So we pitched up camp and continued our journey in the morning. This is definitely one of the hardest hikes I think I've ever done. 
This is just insane. Like when you think you've made it to the top, no, you've got a whole another few miles to go. Despite all the hardships, we finally made it. But this is a story of struggle and adventure. It's starting to snow really bad. Before, it was all sunny and beautiful. It was up to 60 degrees, so that just shows you how much the temperature dropped. And our time on top of the mountain was short-lived. But we were fine with that, because we had somewhere else to get to. The Great Sand Dunes. With these being the tallest sand dunes in all of America, we decided to spend the entire day and just goof off. The sand dunes are truly wild but we needed to continue our journey. We headed west towards the Blue Lake. And with every mountain, every view, every wildlife, we were just truly amazed. Colorado just never stopped to amaze us. All right, about to leave this campsite. We just stopped off last night. We're all pretty tired from the sand dunes yesterday and the hike before that. But um, about to head out because time to go to another adventure. So do you see that mountain range up ahead? Yeah, that's where the blue lakes are. Maybe it's being adventurous, or being stupid, or maybe it's just being a Kempel. But we all were about to hike a few thousand feet in elevation. One statement, what do you feel about going up to Blue Lakes right now? Happy, but painful. I'm looking forward to see these lakes. I'm pretty excited about it. Honestly, I'm just really pumped. Excited about going up and seeing God's beautiful creation. Woo! <laughs> This is no easy trail. The altitude is much higher here, so just these hikes really hurt the lungs. And it's, it's exhausting. just in time before sunset. Do you know that feeling when you go to a new place? You have an image in your mind of what it will be like, but when you get there, it's even better. It's that feeling of a cold wind just entering the room. The feeling of getting goosebumps. It's like an urge to cry, but having an overwhelming sense of joy at the same time. It's a moment that you want to share with the people that are special to you. I would never trade these moments for anything. This is a story of struggle and perseverance. A story of friendship, family, and adventure.
After the Blue Lakes, we headed towards the Black Canyon of the Gunnison. We heard this was Colorado's version of the Grand Canyon. So this is our last day in Colorado, sadly. What a beautiful state and a road trip it's been. Yesterday we were just in Mount Sneffels, below 30 degrees, and today it's actually supposed to get up to 90 degrees. But I'm just chilling here, getting one last view of this awesome canyon before we head back. This Colorado road trip was definitely one for the books. With it being our last day, and being totally exhausted from facing Colorado's wilderness for a week, we decided to relax by the river for a little bit. We got cleaned up and then headed to just one more place. Aspen. Colorado road trip was a non-stop wild ride and I encourage you to take at least one of these trips in your life. Like I said before, you never know the value of a moment until it's gone. This guy is a champ, like seriously, he's been through it all. Complete amazement and just wonder at how much beauty is out here in Colorado. You did go inside. Thank you. <laughs> Currently, I'm scaling up the side of this mountain. Oh, <laughs> good brother. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Don't take it down. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>